Hey guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. I hope that the uh, reflection of my light and my glasses isn't too bad. So this is um, another filming area-ish. So Aaron and I, if you watched my uh, vlog from Monday, Aaron and I moved my bookshelves from over on that wall to over on this wall. So literally this wall is nothing but my bookshelves. And so you can't see as many of them. I'm still trying to figure out like the right angles and everything like that, but um, the overall aesthetic of this um, whole entire wall I'm loving. The only thing that it is missing is something right here on this wall. Like I feel like it's naked in a way. Like, I don't know, something needs to go up there and I just haven't found it yet. So, hello, welcome to my channel. I know that a lot of you guys are new to my channel. I have had a big jump in growth. We are almost to 2,000 Cozy Companions, guys. 2,000, what? I don't even, like, my heart can't contain it. My mind just wants to go Like, I can't, I can't believe that there are so many people who watch my face on a weekly basis. So today's video from the title and the thumbnail you can see is a new and updated Kindle Unlimited cozy mystery like extravaganza. So I have found, um, I think you would say like four or five cozy mystery authors and multiple series that are all on Kindle Unlimited that I have personally vetted and made sure that they were amazing before I decided to um, introduce them to you guys and, you know, recommend them to you. So without further ado, let's get started. So the very first one that I have is London Lovett, and London Lovett has three different series out. So her first series that I fell in love with was um, Mary Golds and Murders. This is the um, Port Danby series. I love just the aesthetics of her whole entire, like all of her covers are extremely colorful. So this one's all about uh, Lacey Pink Pinkerton and she has quit her job um, as, a, as someone who works for a perfume company because she has hypersomia. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's a heightened sense of smell where she can pick apart different um, notes and things um, in the scents all around her. And her nose seems to find herself into a lot of murder mysteries. And she has a crow as a companion. Like, you can't get any better than that. So we've got Port Danby by London Lovett. Then we have her Firefly Junction series. This is the first one. It's Death in the Park. And this one follows Sunny Taylor. She was a, um, a reporter in a big city and then she moves to Firefly Junction on the same land as her two sisters. And she's um, trying to um, rehabilitate and renovate this new, um, there's Clea by the way, this new, um, sort of like, well, it's not new, it's an old mansion type of house, and she's trying to make it into a bed and breakfast, but while she's doing that, she's also writing for Firefly Junction and um, their newspaper, and she tends to, you know you're not allowed up here. No, don't, don't, I know. You can purr all you want. Down, down, I know, I know. Meanest mom ever. So she's writing for the newspaper and she tends to find herself um, meddling or falling upon um, different mysteries within the town. I really do love this. Um, both of the detectives in both of these series are fantastic. I like them as well. They, they have more of a personality than some detectives and other cozies. And so I really, really love these two series. Then I have, um, I don't have it on me, but she has a new series that just dropped. I do, I pre-ordered it on Kindle Unli Unlimited, and um, it is the Starfire series. Now, I haven't read it yet, but so far she's two for two, so I'm counting this as probably an amazing series as well, but it's um, based in the 1920s. The first one starts in 1923. Um, 
and I'm super excited to give that a read. You guys need to know that um, cozies on Kindle a lot of times are super fun and quick, easy reads. So I promise you will not regret picking up these books, any of the books that I recommend. They are amazing, they are fun, they are quick, and you really do fall in love with the characters. So the next person that I'm going to talk about is Agatha Frost. She writes the Pyrodel Cafe mystery series. I think she's on number 14 so far. And what's cool about hers is you can, um, I think you can also do this with London Lovitz, but you can um, buy them like books one through three in one thing and books, you know, four through six in one thing. Um, which is really, really nice. So if you just want to binge read, which is what I do, like I binge read the last four of the uh, Port Danby series in like a weekend. And it's just, they're so much fun. And um, I really, really enjoy Agatha Frost, fell in love with her. Then she also writes the um, Scarlet Co series with her best friend, Evelyn Amber. I have read the first three, I believe there's only three. Yeah, the first three in the series and they're just as good. Um, I do prefer the, her, her Pyrodel series more than the Scarlet Cove, but they are so much fun. And I, the, the, the main characters are vastly different. So um, in Pyrodel, our main character is a bakery owner and she, uh, I just, I love, I love her. And then um, the other one is a retired detective, I'm pretty sure, yeah, she's a retired detective who's opening up like a paint shop or an art supply store. Um, and I, I just, I really, really enjoy them. The next um, author I wanna talk about is one that I have recently fallen in love with. So if you have been watching my vlogs, um, you know how much I am loving the Spellbinder Bay mystery series and the author is Sam Short. So the Spellbinder Bay mystery series has three books out so far. Um, Which Way to Spellbinder Bay, Broomsticks and Bones, and Spells and Cells. I'm about halfway through Spells and Cells and I'm loving it just as much. It is so good. And um, so that one is all about, it's all based in the UK. And it's about um, our main character, Mil or Millie, Millie, yes. And she is um, learning that she is a witch and that her she's got a whole bunch of things going on in her past with her mother who passed away. And she, but she gets uh, mysteriously brought to Spellbinder Bay. And it's sort of like a cloaked city of paranormal, um, wolves and vampires and just you know but they still have murders and mysteries and everything like that so that's really really fun and um i'm absolutely loving it apparently she has two other series as well which i am going to of course pick up now that i love this series so much and that is water witch series and pepper grinder series the pepper grinder series is new there's only one out but i think there's at least four or five of the water witch series out so 100 percent, go check out sam short you won't regret it it's just so good um the very last one that i want to talk about is the uh is hy hannah so I have devoured her um, Oxford Tea Room Mystery Series. I love it so much. I didn't know that she had uh, two other series. Well, I knew that she had this one other one. I had started it, but I hadn't um, finished it yet. And that's Bewitched by Chocolate. And then she also has the English Cot Cottage Garden Mystery Series, which just... I'm all about that. I'm so excited about all of these series. I really, really hope that you guys go and check them out. I will put their websites and links to things all in the description box thingamajig. But um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video, this updated Kindle Unlimited video. Um, I know that some of these are ones that I've already talked about, but they cannot be talked about enough. So please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading.